Today, we found out the jobs numbers were wrong, again. The government revised the last two months of data, and the correction was massive. May's job gains were cut from 144,000 to just 19,000. June, from 150,000 down to 14,000. That's over a quarter million jobs, wiped out. And this isn't new. Last year, the government overestimated job growth by more than 800,000. So, how does this keep happening? Here's what most people don't realize. The Bureau of Labor Statistics doesn't count every job. It samples about 120,000 businesses. But many don't respond in time, so the BLS uses models to fill in the gaps. These models are based on past patterns, like forecasting the future with yesterday's weather. And when the economy shifts suddenly, those guesses can miss the mark badly. Later, when real payroll tax data rolls in, they revise the numbers. That's what happened today. The original reports were wrong, and now we're seeing just how wrong. Some have blamed deportations or undocumented workers, but that's not the issue. The BLS only counts jobs reported by employers who pay unemployment insurance. If someone was off the books, they were never counted in the first place. So they aren't causing these revisions. But now it's more than just a statistical error. It's political. After today's report, President Trump fired the head of the BLS, claiming the October 2024 jobs numbers were manipulated to favor Democrats. There's no hard evidence, but that accusation alone shakes public trust in the data. And here's the real danger. If we fall into recession and then begin to recover, how will we know it's real? If the data is flawed or worse, influenced by political pressure, shaped by someone afraid to deliver bad news for fear of losing their job, then we lose more than just accuracy. We lose confidence. Even a genuine recovery could feel hollow. Not because the progress isn't real, but because the numbers no longer carry trust. And when the data becomes political, truth becomes uncertain. And belief in the system starts to fade. This isn't just about missed forecasts. It's about the credibility of the scoreboard we all play by. Because when we stop believing the numbers, we stop believing the game is fair. And once that happens, the system doesn't just wobble, it breaks.